In today's video, we will be using Just Junk to add embellished journaling space to our January journal. We will be making a double tuck with three inserts. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, tuned. it's Julie. Welcome to the Messy Desk. Today we are going to be working on our double tuck and we need to have three inserts. So I did pull out one of the red envelopes. Um, remember you can use as many and any type of envelopes that you want in your journal. And yes, that can be any type of envelope. So I'm gonna use a regular, this was from Christmas cards envelope. I did that because usually a lot of us have a whole lot of envelopes. Okay. So. Okay, so um, I did save out this because I thought this might be kind of fun to put on the flap. And so I had it with my envelope while I was, while I was saving for ideas. So I'm looking for a page. Um, these are calendar pages that I have here. So these all have pockets, so they're not going to work. I need a... I don't want one with the pocket or one that has a setup for a flip flop. That one probably will work. Okay, so I, when I was folding my pages and I was looking at them, and I knew that I had some barn areas that I want this in the journal, but it's not really, unless you're using like a Sharpie, it's not really a journaling page. So I will use this and have the, the background and be able to put like a double tuck on it. Or it could have had a belly band would have been another good thing for this one. But I'm thinking that this will make a great double tuck. So double tuck is you use the flap of your envelope and attach it to a page or somewhere in your journal. Um, and when you do it, you go ahead and you bring your glue down. Oop, wow. Can't blame that on the thumb. <laughs> okay. And then you come across the flap and then you go ahead and you put your page into the, the gutter here, the fold, move it up, move it up and pull this down. Okay, and glue it down. Now what has happened is you have two places to tuck things in or a double tuck. Okay, at the same time, and this is just because I like to decorate and embellish my journals and I needed more um, places for journaling. So this is the, one of the, the ways that I add more journaling. Okay, so here's the other side of the envelope. I want to make sure that you get any glue that is in the, the fold out. Okay, and so now I've also added another page. Now remember, I go ahead and I use my... Um, calendar pages as they are you can go ahead and add um, like we've done before we have that paper that's like it's like a little bit thicker tissue paper and you can do things like add that I know some people would normally paint okay we're not painting this time there's no painting there's no paint you can only use food dyes and plant dyes for your coloring in this. So, um, very, uh, very junk. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put this down on here okay what do we got, got 
We have a piece going through there. Oh well, we'll leave it. <laughs> oh, how cool. You could put something in there. Ooh, we could put something in there. What could we put? We could put we could put a picture in there. <laughs> Where's my little calendar? Where's my little calendar? I think we're gonna put a picture in there. Okay, let's fold that up. Use the transparent. This one in there. Let's see what we think. Okay, so we gotta cut it down a little. Or you could just, you know, leave it. Cause you've got kind of got lines there. So you just barely see it. You could put some confetti in there. I know Bonnie found there were some hearts on one of her things. So you put little hearts in there on a journal that wasn't your challenge journal. Well, you could do some punches. Punch out some things and put them underneath. That might be kind of fun. So, there. We have a barn just lightly underneath there. I like it. So let's go ahead and flip this over. Flip that over, flip that over. We need a, a nice, okay. I'm just going to cut it off because I, I can't see because of the way that the light is. It's still dark outside here. There we go. We'll cut across here. So remember, all of your elements have to have three other things happening on them. Okay, so we need to have... Now this is your extra, your extra thing that I'm teaching is... This time is adding... adding this paper onto your calendar paper. Okay, I'll go ahead and fold that over. And cut this. So that was, um, I think this came in the shoe box. Either Tom's new shoes or my new shoes. That, that paper right there. Okay. So we've cleaned, cleaned it up. And it also made that paper a little, a little thicker. We added the barn image underneath there. You can just faintly see it. I actually, I like it. Okay. So there you go. For those that um, don't want to see the calendar, could have gone all the way across. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're going to work on our double tuck. And so I'm going to start by um, cutting this piece that I saved, knowing that I wanted to use it on here. I'm just going to kind of... Kind of go flowy round and round. We did that on one of the other 
things that we use this card for. This was the house card. The card with the picture of the house on it that I used in one of the other videos. Okay, so card fronts. That's something that you can use. I had someone, an, actually an organizer lady. <laughs> That's what she does. She organizes and she got in touch with me because she had somebody that she was organizing that wanted her um, these cards to go to somebody that they thought would use them and she's in one of the networking, the organizer person is in one of the networking groups I'm in. And so she contacted me and I'm like, sure. She sent them. So, so we've been using them and a lot of them, a lot of the card fronts that I got are vintage, very vintage. So we also have this that we can use and I'll probably use it on this part of the journal because I'm trying to use up all the scraps as I get them. Um, I don't want to end up with a big box of junk left over at the end. Okay. So there's one. And I think we'll come to this side and I think we'll use it like a belly band because it's it's kind of dark so yeah I think we'll go ahead and put this down I was thinking it would be kind of cool on the edge, but I think we'll do that. And we'll add this also. We're going to use the fabric tack on this one. Put a, a little band of fabric tack down here. easier to get it out of. I might need to thin it down again. Okay, yeah, it's coming out now. Okay, so we'll put a bead across there and a bead across the top. Add our piece of fabric. Okay, and I let it come off the edge. I'm going to just, I'll clean that off after it dries. Okay. So there's that. We'll switch and put that one up there. We'll give this one the lid. Okay, so there's that. Um, okay, I have another card front, but I don't think it's going to work for what I want to do here. So we'll put this over here on this, this side. Okay, I have this chicken. No, it's a rooster. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'm going to save this one. I'm going to go ahead and 
cut. Cut him out. So there's, that gives me a rooster. Um, I have this, I bought this, uh, it's a plaque that you put these on. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. So I can use this for tags and things. This, it's nice weight and cut it off okay so I have so I have this piece and I have this piece. And I thought even I could make a couple of Okay. So go. Oh, hammer and axe. I can use that in here, huh? Okay, if we come over to where that's coming down, and that will give us a tag. And come right here. Come to where that is coming down. And that will give me a nice tag. And then I've got words too. Which actually, I kind of like them just the way they are. I was going to take them apart. I thought, but I kind of like it. Um, if we cut that down, Oh my gosh, that can be a tag. So let's just try and get it so that we don't cut any of the words. Okay. Oh my gosh, look, I love it. Head outdoors and explore more. Okay, so this can be one of our cards. I am going to go ahead and round the corners. Okay. We've got this we can go ahead and trim off. So that can go either in there or in here. I'm going to have it come in here, I think. Okay. And it could even go like that. I mean, just depending on how you want to put it in there. I love it. Okay. So there is, there's that. We have this. I want to go ahead and use this right away. Um, I think we'll go ahead and attach it here. We'll grab some of our net from the, the onions and add that on there as well. 
and Use one of our tickets. Okay. And so we've collaged a tab. We've used one, two, three items, so that counts as what we need. We've used items that we're using throughout the journal. Okay, so there's that. I love it. And then we'll come over, are we upside down? Yeah, this way. Okay, so we want, um, let's see. These are obviously too big. That's okay. Okay, so we have our rooster. Now he could go on a blue card. edge of this. do something do something different okay and then for my other one I have this okay with the B B for barn I guess <laughs> okay thinking we'll put this on here okay and you can write on the back Let's add that. There's, there's that. Okay, it's gonna go, well, once it dries, it'll go in here, okay? So, we need to cut this down. want a tab on this. I'm gonna put that in there and then figure out you know you see that you can only get 
so much. I'm going to bring out my one inch hole punch and take hammer and axe out of there. some onion net <laughs> under the hammer and axe okay and we're gonna glue all that down so we'll go ahead and I don't think we need to make it into any pockets even though I love pockets and I cannot lie I'll go ahead and put that down we'll add the puddle for the net And then add glue here, and that way we're gluing through the net. That'll help hold the net down. And there we go. Hammer and axe. Okay, so you have this little card. You can journal on there. You could add um, lined paper to it if you had something that like that that you wanted to use okay so um, I think I want to use the chicken instead of that this time so I'm going to want to back back my chicken <laughs> um, what am I gonna back the chicken with Right on this side, it's bubble mailer packaging. Okay. We'll go ahead and put the glue on it. We go over here, pretty thin. Okay, so this is going to give me color and um, white writing space on the other side from the bubble mailers. Sometimes I collect, keep stuff and I'm like, what am I ever going to use that for? And then just the perfect little rooster shows up. There we have matted our little rooster, given him more substance, and made him, he'll be a great little make sure that stays down. Be a great little tuck insert for this tuck right here. Okay. And I think we'll cut off the word lunch. <laughs> he might not be happy with that. Have this piece from the envelope. Kind of like maybe another ticket. Might have to go get into the the bag of tickets here. Oh, don't have to have a whole ticket. We can have a piece of a ticket. Technically, that would be three things because that background piece would be our base with our rooster and our other two pieces. If we staple it, that will give us some more. And I think we'll go ahead and add a little bit of net. 
Nothing but net. Okay. And our staples count as one of our things too. Okay, so we're, there's our, ooh, and I like the way that that goes over the top there. If you're here at the premiere, I'm waving, hi. And say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first Dear Julie Julie premiere, just know that we use this premiere format so that we can use that live chat. So if you'd like to join us in the live chat and you are here at the premiere, go ahead, hit that live chat button. Come on over and introduce yourself. Say hi so we can get to know you. Also, we have our Facebook group, which is Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. You can post your projects there and ask questions. It is a great place for more ideas and that's our community hub. Um, so that we can send you out to the places that we swap and other things like that. So um, don't forget that all Dear Julie Julie digitals are on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop through January 11th. That is celebrating six years and 3,000 sales on Etsy. Um, and I want to thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Um, also, uh, I want to thank the Patreons. We now have 24 Patreons. Yay! Um, and they make, they make this possible um, that we can continue to be here. So thank you so, so much. We had our Q&A yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Um, a live Q&A um, they get to ask the questions and I answer them to the best of my ability <laughs> so thank you again um, and yeah so let's get back to our program okay so there's one two three inserts um, we'll continue on we need to do something with this I think we'll go ahead and grab a an image from one of the pages one of the back pages okay so this is the back page of the small calendar back page of the small calendar let's see oh I think I like that one We can do just a little, we can make it look like a postage stamp with our postage stamp scissors here. And so we'll just go around the red. And go just a little bit more here. Round, round, round. Put those right up there. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to find them easier. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then what if we take... Okay, we want to save that and that because we might be able to use this. And then we can take this stamp... both of those in there. This kind of actually looks, 
I actually like that better. So we're going to take that, save it. Let's go ahead and we'll just cut us out a square from the envelope. This is from the, the inside of the envelope. I think that that will be... Yeah, I like that better. It's amazing, isn't it? Turn it upside down and like it better. Because you got the blue over there. Of course, this may this may end up being separate. This page. That's why it was folded like that. That it could be um, separate. Okay, then we have this little stamp. I could put one of the cart stamps. Yeah. So a little collection of stamps. Right here, I love using posted, canceled postage stamps in my journals. Um, whether they're the homemade ones or yeah, it needs to go on top. Okay. So we have a postage stamp, the inside of a privacy envelope, and the back of a calendar, as well as part of a card. All those work really well on this page. Let's go ahead and turn this over. We have this. that I think that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm thinking maybe a little barn down here I'm telling you these calendar things come in handy so and of course this is different than you know using the you know I like like I've said several times this this uh, series I like having um, pictures in my journal. I like the, just, I just do. Calendars and magazines are a great way to be able to get pictures in a journal. So this one, now it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Sorry about that. Okay, now we've got it coming out. And I'm putting this on fabric, so that's why I really wanted to use the fabric tack because I want to make sure that it sits on top of it, doesn't just soak in. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there on the fabric. We'll pull this out just in case. I don't think it's gonna not going to go through. Okay. Okay. So one more thing we want, I want to add something to this side. And so I'm going to look around, see what we have. 
that we can we can use to help close that up. Um, we could use those if they were taller, they're not. Okay. Oh, what about... Oh, they're not tall enough either, but they would make... You would be able to get an insert out of that pretty easily. Okay, we haven't used any of the wrap in a while. Go ahead and use some of this wrap. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to cut a head off. do it like that. Okay. Okay, what this is going to do, it's going to add another pocket to this, but I'm okay with that. So go ahead, bring this down and across. And then we'll put it down right up into the gutter. Okay. okay. Once you've once you've glued it down, see I want this whole cow. Okay. I don't want to cut off don't want to cut off its nose or anything. This one I can cut some off of down here or it can hang off even. Okay. Okay. So there we go. We've covered up the the edge of that envelope. Now we are going to go ahead and cut, cut into this. You could cut either the top or the bottom. I mean, or the side. Well, the bottom or the side. Okay, so that gives us another place to put something. I know, there's just so many places. So you only have to make three inserts. But there's all these places that you can put things. So, ooh, I like that. I think I'll just put it in there just like that. And then we have this spot that we'll be able to put something as well. Okay, so here is our double tuck. We have the double tuck, the envelope. So we use the red envelope. We use the piece of the card for here and here. We added the piece of fabric here to the envelope, the envelope. And then we made our little card out of the packaging from the tile board 
that I had purchased. We added uh, one of the small calendar barn images here and a ticket and some onion net with we used staples to put that down. We can go ahead and you can uh, write on the back there and turn this over. We added this little spot here. Remember we did this with the with the calendar page, putting a calendar inside there so you can just faintly see it. I like that you see the flag. Um, we, we made a little mistake here and this is kind of going through there, but I kind of like it. It's just, you know, something different. Um, and then we have this card. This is also from the wood tile. And I like the way it sits in there with the wood. Okay, you do still have um, room there that you can put something in. And we used a full calendar page that we had cut down to fit inside the journal. Um, then we have our rooster. We used a Pictionary game card here and a ticket. Some of the onion netting and staples. Remember that we layered this onto bubble wrap packaging paper. Okay, and then this, this was also from the wood tile board as well as um, the hammer and axe that I punched out. We have a ticket here. This is one of the business cards that we dyed with the onion skins and it came out yellow. I love it. So there we go. This is our double tuck ensemble. We have three completed inserts, and we have uh, another insert here, and we can also put an insert in there. Um, double tucks are one of my favorite things to do. It gives us a place for some small journaling, as well as places to be able to embellish use some of the fun little things that we've collected for the journal and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll put a video up here that's another double tuck idea. I also um, will put the playlist for the Beginner's Junk Journal series. It has videos in it. It has, uh, I believe I made five or six journals start to done and it has all those journals in there from last year while we're home safer at home okay so that is that is my double tuck ensemble don't forget youtube's going to put a video up there that they think that you're going to want to watch please go watch any one of those videos or another video it really does help my channel also if you haven't subscribed and you like videos like this do subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will tell you when we are, when we have a new video. Um, but just in case, remember that we're here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time with a premiere. That means we're all watching this, the video at the same time together and we get to have that live chat we talked about. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.